How's it going everybody? G Murph here. Today I'm going to talk about the three year anniversary of Dead by Daylight and what's to come in year four. Uh, if you didn't watch the dev live stream, I definitely recommend going to watch that because we're not going to cover everything because it was about two and a half hours long, but I'm going to cover what I thought was interesting and here we go. Probably my favorite part of the live stream was them talking about the Freddy rework. I'm so excited about this. It's been a long time coming. Uh, basically, they went over the, the whole rework. His powers are going to change, his add ons are going to change, the playstyle is going to change, even the preschool map itself is going to change. His power is different now. There is no putting survivors to sleep anymore. They go through what the devs called a sleep cycle. The first part of the sleep cycle is called micro sleep. Uh, micro sleep, Freddy will be visible and invisible at certain distances to the survivor. Um, during micro sleep, he'll have a regular terror radius sound, and Freddy can also hit survivors right away. The second part is called passive sleep. Um, after a certain duration of micro sleep, survivors go into passive sleep and Freddy is now fully visible and he'll have his normal lullaby instead of a terror radius, which I think is great. So it'll be a little it'll be a little harder to tell when he's coming. It'll help with the, some mind games. But the third part is called waking up. Um, you can still wake up from other survivors or failing skill checks. Um, any skill check now, it also includes sabotage. Survivors can uh, also wake themselves up now from interacting with a new thing. A new thing they call the sleep object uh, that'll be on the map when you're playing against Freddy. Um, I didn't get a, there wasn't a very good picture of it, but it, it looked like a dresser with a clock on top of it, and basically just go up to it, interact, and it'll wake you up. His new Dream Demon abilities, remember this is, this is subject to change, they said so during the live stream, this may not be in, but he's going to have three different powers, he's going to have Dream Palettes, which creates quote unquote fake pallets at locations where pallets can spawn. Uh, the pallets cannot be seen if the survivor is awake. If a sleeping survivor uses this pallet, it creates an explosion of blood. Um, they kind of compared it to the doctor's illusion pallets. So I'm guessing they go up to interact with it and I'm guessing like a blood explosion happens and obviously there's no pallet so they can get hit or whatever. Uh, his second, uh, the second part of his ability is called Dream Snare. Uh, Freddy can create slowing areas that take two seconds to activate. And if a sleeping survivor runs over it, it slows them down and gives them the hindered effect after the initial slowdown. And the third part of his ability is called Generator Teleport. And it's just as awesome as it sounds. Freddy can charge a 5 second timer while in range of a generator. After 5 seconds he can teleport to that generator for you know, either a survivor, a sur surprise attack or a grab. Charging the ability creates a husk, kind of like when the spirit is uh, passive phasing. Uh, which will really help in the, the mind games. So that'll be interesting. And it could also be used in a chase. The next chapter release is going to be Ghostface, as we all know from the spoilers that were leaked. They went over his main power and the three perks he's going to have, which is really nice because I actually like pretty much all of his perks, to be honest. Uh, his main power is Night Shroud. Ghostface can enter a stealth mode where he can stalk individual survivors, even lean around corners. Um, 
It's similar to Michael Myers, but he can only stalk and expose one survivor at a time. And each survivor has their own stalk meter. The exposed status lasts for about 20 seconds. This may be subject to change like all of their numbers. While Night Shroud is active, Ghostface has no terror radius. But if a survivor stares at Ghostface long enough, Night Shroud will be cancelled and needs to recharge over time. So there's a little bit of uh, play that the survivors can do against him. Here's a clip from the live stream today. They're going to talk about Ghostface and his new perks. He, also come with perks. he does indeed. How many? He has three perks, like all of our other killers, Matthew. <laughs> Thank try, you. Try to follow. Surprise. <laughs> I was so close. Okay. Uh, would you like to talk about that? I would love to. So his first perk is called I'm All Ears, and it's a detection tracking perk. Uh, so basically, the way that it works is if a, uh, if a survivor performs a rushed action outside of your terror radius, their aura will be shown for the next six seconds. So this means if they do a fast vault, if they hold shift when they're jumping into or out of a locker, they're going to reveal them, themselves to you. So it's a very uh, powerful ability. Um, again, it's on a cooldown. Okay. Uh, what is the second one called? The, the second perk is called Thrilling Tremors. It's an obstruction perk. Uh, and basically that means that it's there to kind of help slow down the game a bit, stop survivors from being able to do their objective. Uh, How does it work? I'll, I'll tell you that. Let me get to it. <laughs> so, <laughs> the way that it works is that uh, when, you down, uh, when you pick up a downed survivor, or in this case, when you interrupt a survivor, it will block any generators that are not currently being worked on by another survivor for 16 seconds. So as I said, this will kind of help slow down the game a bit, uh, but on top of this, it will also provide a bit of information. So all of the generators that are affected by this perk will be highlighted in white uh, for the duration, and that means that the very observant killers will be able to see which uh, generators may still have survivors working on them. Tricky. Indeed. Uh, this perk also works on a cooldown. Cool. Thank you very much. That was detailed and precise information. <laughs> You're very welcome. Uh, Dave. Uh, we have perk. one more perk. Oh, shit. Three perks, we said. <laughs> I meant... Three perks. Three oh, perks. Darn. <laughs> <laughs> yes. What's the third one? All right. The third perk is called Furtive Chase. Uh, so this perk <laughs> is an obsession perk. And the way that this works is that when the killer hooks the obsession, uh, they gain a token up to a maximum of two, three, or four tokens, obviously based on the, the perk tier. And for each token that you have, you will reduce your terror radius by four meters when you're in a chase. On top of this, it's also a, a, a dynamic obsession perk. Uh, and by that, I mean a, uh, that your obsession will change throughout the match similar to how the reworked uh, Decisive Strike works. Um, and so the way that that works is that when a survivor goes to unhook the original obsession, they will then become the obsession. So this sets up a new target for the, the killer to want to hook. That sounds like it's a pretty fun cool. time. Yeah. It's pretty cool indeed. All right, well, there's a look into uh, what's to come for the next chapter. Uh, like I said, go watch the whole live stream because I have a ton of information in there that I just can't cover in a short video. Um, I hope you're excited as I am. And I will see you next time. See ya.